Good morning guys, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube show. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Maybe you recognize me with my long hairs and my family. From three years ago, we went all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, we sold our companies, we sold our cars, we sold literally everything we owned. We went all into Bitcoin and we started to travel the world. Now, three years later, we are visiting our hometown for two weeks, Venlo, coming to you from my sister's house. I'm going to walk into the nature. I'm going to share some beautiful charts with you guys with crazy cool indicators that are showing you exactly where Bitcoin is moving towards. I'm also going to talk about Grayscale, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash, and of course about Monero because again, it's used by a hacking group. I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Good morning guys! Yesterday evening was an awesome evening. I had barbecue with my sister and my brother. And it's so cool to see my nieces and nephews again. They have grown tremendously. Uh, Joan, one of my nieces, she was still a baby when we left the Netherlands. And now she's able to walk and she makes all these noises. We are sleeping at my sister's house. So we needed to change the bedrooms here and there. So my sister's kids are sleeping in one bedroom with Jessa. Jolie and Juna are mostly sleeping as friends or downstairs at the couch. Uh, we got one bedroom and my sister and her husband have a bedroom. We could also have stayed somewhere in a hotel or whatever. But you know, if I'm in Holland, I want to spend time with my family. So it's beautiful to see how Zita and Nick's family is doing and how their kids grow up and all this stuff. I'm very thankful that they have such a cool brother and sister and that uh, they really respect the life we are living and that every time we come to the Netherlands, they are like completely ready for us and just accept that we are only there for two weeks and just we have two weeks, a lot of fun. Of course, we had some drinks. We had a lot of fun. We talked, about, of course, about how we experienced Copangan during the whole flu season. They talked to us about how they experienced the Netherlands. So you get so many stories to tell if you don't see each other for such a long time. The evening could have taken till like 4 a.m. or something. We have so many stories to tell. So it was a beautiful evening yesterday. But guys, you want to hear me talk about Bitcoin, of course, as well. So let's go into the Bitcoin price. Let's take this chart first. Pop. Huh? Didi, that is not a chart. Yes, this is a chart. This chart was tweeted by Alpha Zeta uh, on Twitter. It's a data analyst uh, or data analyst. However you pronounce it, you probably understand what I'm saying. But this analyst uh, created this chart where you can see that what happened to the Bitcoin price every time we saw a low volatility like this for a longer period and if we look to the chart you see this blue line in the middle so if the dots below this blue line that is the moments that bitcoin went downwards the dots above the blue line that is these are the moments that bitcoin went upwards sorry i said volatility i meant volume on this chart you can see what bitcoin did when it reached a volume smaller than 30 percent and every time we reach this volume smaller than 30 percent after this long sideways movement with just a little bit volume so after 30 days the biggest probability is that we will go up if it is up to this chart if we take a look at another chart this one Bam. this one is a beautiful colorful one yes you recognize it it was a chart by lisa on this chart you can see this bullish pivot and if you see this bullish pivot you can see that we are forming a one two three four and now we need to go into the five this five is also suggesting that we are going upwards from here because the elliott wave is predicting that the fifth wave is going up and this fifth wave would bring us all the way to 11,200 US dollar. Another sign that we will go up from here, guys. And yes, guys, you can see that we have been going sideways for a very long time. The biggest resistance at the moment is around 9,200 US dollar. If we are able to break the 9,200 US dollar, we will soon go and see the 9,500, and then we will visit the 10K again, the level we are all waiting for to break again. 
and then when we have enough power we can even break the 10,500 level because that is the biggest resistance we have still been fighting for the last year if we don't succeed guys it's still the same story we could drop down below 9k so we would visit 8.8k and then maybe even 8.2k but for me i'm still bullish i think we will go upwards from here if we zoom out a little bit and then we take the monthly chart we take this chart but this chart is made by btc jack sparrow on twitter he shared this chart with us and on this chart you can see a few vertical lines on this monthly chart guys you can see that what happened every time after the halving every time you see an all-time high you can see this trend line coming downwards and at the same time you can see the moment the halving is taking place the first halving, you see this green square, it took two months to break this trend line. The second halving, you can see the green square again, and you can also see this trend line coming down. This time, it took four months to break this downward trend line. Now, at the third halving, guys, you can again see the same thing. We can see this descending trend line, this downward trend line, and we can see the moment of the halving in this vertical line and we can see this green square we are in this green square we are now in the second month after the halving so the question is now how many candles is it going to take to break this trend line will this be in the third month or in the fourth month but this is how you can see that it could take another one or two months before we even break this huge descending trend line and if we break this trend line that will be a huge confirmation of the new bull run then we have another chart this one bam on this chart guys also tweeted by btc jack sparrow you can see the bollinger band and you can see these vertical lines these vertical red lines they are indicating every time that this bollinger band squeezes becomes a very tight area the bollinger band can be white and it can be tight and every time that this bollinger band gets this tight we see a breakout if you look closely at this chart you can see that there are six lines and from these six times the bollinger band became tight five times the breakout was upwards only once the breakout was downwards so this bollinger band now becoming tight is also an indicator that we are going to break out very soon again in my opinion we are going to break out upwards if i combine this indicator and signal with all the other indicators and signals i see but still it is all trading and everything can happen in football we used to say the ball can bounce everywhere you never know you can try to hit the ball as perfect as possible but when the wind is wrong or whether the grass is not straight the ball can jump off you know this is also a trading you can read the charts as best as possible. You can educate you on all these indicators and signals. But still, the move can be different than you expect. Some very cool news for Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash. Grayscale is now able to offer Litecoin and Bitcoin Cash to the, to the retail investors that have access to an OTC desk this means that not only institutional investors can now buy litecoin and bitcoin cash shares at grayscale but also the normal retail investors are now able to buy litecoin and bitcoin cash shares at the grayscale fund again an amazing step created by grayscale grayscale got into the news a lot of times lately they are doing a really good job for awareness in this crypto space so i really like what grayscale is doing they are creating awareness in the normal news in the mass media news all about bitcoin litecoin bitcoin cash ethereum so i think grayscale really deserves a thumbs up as i also think that this video already deserves a thumbs up now as well so if you're up to that please give the video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell and maybe even share it with your communities and then i can continue with the rest of this video thank you
Then there is some other cool news. You can now earn real gold by playing a blockchain game. The game is called Axie Infinity. It is a Pokemon looking based game where you have these small Pokemon looking monsters and you need to breed them and feed them and yeah, all do all this stuff with, the, with these virtual animals. I don't even know how Pokemon works. Um, but with this game, you can now earn real gold. How can this be possible? This is possible because XC now works together with DGX and they create this XC DGX token inside of the game. So there will be these airdrops inside the games where you can uh, find these XC DGX tokens and they represent gold because one DGX token is backed up by one gram of gold. So if you find these XC DGX tokens inside this XE game, you're able to convert them to DGX tokens and then you have one gram of gold if you're able to collect one DGX token. So this is again a really cool way of NFTs in a game built on the blockchain. So I'm going to check the game and I'm going to ask my kids to start and collecting gold instead of playing all these games where they don't earn shit. I'm going to put my kids in this gold rush. They need to play this game 24 seven to collect as much as possible gold. Let's see if they succeed. And then one more news guys, there's the news that this huge telecom Argentina company, one of the biggest telecom providers in Argentina, they just got hacked and the hackers are asking Monero as ransom, not a little bit of Monero, but $7.5 million worth of Monero. I think this is around 110,000 Monero. So they need to pay 110,000 Monero within two days. If they don't pay within two days, uh, the hackers are asking $15 million, which would be 220,000 Monero. So this means if this telecom company doesn't want to lose all their privacy data, they need to confirm to these hackers and pay $7.5 million worth of Monero. So they need to buy these Monero. The hackers were very polite. They sent a small note. You can buy these Moneros here and here and here, and you can send them by using this and that wallet. I don't think the hackers gave them their affiliate link. Um, next time hackers, when you do something like this, can you give them my affiliate link? Maybe that I can make some commission on all these people that are going to buy Monero now to pay off these hackers. Let's see if this Argentina Telcom company is going to pay the, with Monero. If they are going to pay, we should see a huge buy order somewhere on an exchange that is going to buy more than 110,000 Monero to pay off these hackers. That was the video for today's guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share it with your communities, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified on every new video. And if you're up to it, leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Please always remember to zoom out in crypto and to zoom in in life. Enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. Hope to see you tomorrow again. Bye.